afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Office of Economic Development Business Information Session. My name is Margaret McGee, and I'm the Business Services Manager. Business services assist entrepreneurs and business owners in starting and growing their business. We help navigate through uh, the different departments within city government to obtain permits and occupational licenses. We also connect business communities um, with organizations that could provide technical assistance, incentives, resources, and other programs beneficial to operating their business. One way we do this is to host business information sessions. These sessions are held throughout the year and the topics are gathered from entrepreneurs, surveys, and information we gather from the business community. This series of three sessions will focus on business funding, starting today with New Corp Inc. and Axion Opportunity Fund. For 25 years, New Corp Inc. as a 501c3 nonprofit community development financial institution, also known as CDFI, has proudly and ambitiously provided capital counseling, technical assistance, and training to small to moderate minority and women-owned businesses. These businesses normally have difficulty accessing funds from traditional sources. As a CDFI lender, Nucorp assembled a suite of products and services that support uh, the business community. So Mr. Johnson, Sylvester Johnson will give us um, some more information about that. Um, Mr. Johnson is a business development officer with Nucorp Inc. And of course he will provide an overview of his organizations and their services. Axion Opportunity Fund is a financial support system for all businesses that advances racial, gender, and economic justice for all. Adriana Williams, Partnership Manager, will provide an overview of their organization and the services they provide. Please place all your questions in the chat box and we'll get them answered at the uh, end of the session. So now I'll go ahead and turn it over to Mr. Sylvester Johnson, followed by Ms. Adriana Williams. Thank you, Ms. McGee. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sylvester Johnson and I am the business development officer at New Corp. Um, thank you for that introduction. And Ms. McGee uh, went over exactly what New Corp is and what our mission is in the community. Um, I think that we do our best to support and give voice to funding and technical assistance uh, opportunities for our clients and uh, different minority and woman-owned businesses in, in the state of Louisiana now, not just the city of New Orleans, but we're doing work uh, across the state. We know that there are many opportunities that may be closed off to minority and woman-owned businesses simply due to the fact that they may not have uh, a track record of operation, nor may they, they may not have the opportunity to uh, to build business credit and uh, and their their own business track record uh, as a company because uh, they have not had access to capital and a lot of a uh, lot of opportunity to um, make sure their financials and their back office is in shape. Uh, initially before uh, funding will be available to them from traditional banks. So as a CDFI, we are, we are able to give uh, these businesses access to capital in creative and, and custom ways so that 
they are able to compete with other small businesses that may have access to traditional uh, capital or lines of credit uh, that may be closed off to, to others. Uh, so I, I want to today go over some of the products and some of the opportunities that may be available to, to you as a customer of, of New Corp Incorporated. First and foremost, uh, we have uh, a product that we are, are using, and it is our signature product. It's a product that we developed with the city of New Orleans, and it, is, it was focused on all of the opportunity that is, uh, that is available to DBE subcontractors in the space because a lot of uh, the, the monies that are being infused into the state for projects, infrastructure, and otherwise, uh, hospitality projects, and, and really apartment condo renovations that are requiring uh, DBE participation uh, but at times DBEs are not uh, are not able to do such large scale products. I'm sorry, such large scale projects simply because they can't keep up with the material or the payroll needs that are are necessary for these products while they wait uh, to be paid on net 30 or net 60. Uh, that particular product is called the Build NOLA Mobilization Fund. It is a product that we are using across the city and state right now on multiple projects. And we have lended uh, over $13 million to uh, minority and DBE contractors uh, over the course of the last uh, couple years. It is a product that is not a traditional line of credit, but it is a project-based line of credit. It's not a factoring program. It's not a traditional line of credit. It's not, uh, it, it's not a payday lending situation. Those are all the things it's not. What it is is it is a line of credit that is based on uh, your project, your, the contract that you have signed on the project and based on the pay applications that you have approved by your prime contractor. So it allows you to be, uh, it allows you to be cash flow uh, competent while you are continuing to work on these projects. So uh, instead of having to hold out for 90, um, 180 days on to get, to get your monies, we're able to advance you money based on the approved invoices that your, your, your prime contractor has uh, has given you. So when they may give the approval, that approval can be uh, forwarded to New Corp by the prime and we can advance dollars so that you can take care of material costs and you can take care of labor costs throughout the process as you're waiting for that money to get paid. Um, Mr. Sylvester, money... um, I, yes, I need to cut in. I, I, I'm getting some feedback. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me... Let me get off of, if you're getting feedback, let me get off of, hold on. Let me well, it, it's, it's background uh, noise that's kind of interfering. It's not okay. actually your voice. Okay, hold on. Let me get out of here. I apologize for that. Hold on one minute for me. Thanks everyone for being patient. I apologize for that. Is the is the is the noise still there or am I am I uh am I good? Tell me what you're what you're hearing. Yeah, you're good now. Okay. I apologize for the background noise. I have just uh moved into an area that hopefully we won't have any any background noise there. But what so what we're doing is we're attempting to get our DBE contractors on a similar footing with their counterparts. 
and giving them access to capital that would not have been accessible to them previously. Um, the, the process is, is a simple one. It is uh, a simple application that can be filled out on our website and run through underwriting pretty quickly because it is based on the project uh, invoices or pay applications. Uh, it's, a, it's a great way for subcontractors to be a part of the process without having to go to traditional banks and, um, and going through a full on line of credit, uh, a process without, uh, with, with, with those approvals that are necessary. We, we hope to ensure that uh, the DBE contractors will have the same access to capital that their competitors do, and it will allow them to increase capacity and hopefully take on more projects uh, that way. The, uh, there's a full information session that can be had and requested at, on the website as well that can give you more detail about that program. The second product I want to talk about is our R3 product. The R3 product is not, uh, not simply for subcontractors or general contractors. This is a product for businesses in the, the startup uh, the start, the, the, from the startup phase all the way through um, a, a need for capital to expand. The R3 product is available from in between five and five and fifty thousand dollars loan amounts that we are doing our best to uh, to give out to uh, businesses that are in need of capital, again, from anywhere from startup capital to, uh, to expansion capital. If we're, able, if we're able to help one or two minority or woman-owned businesses um, get their foot in the door and, and have the capacity or the capital necessary to compete in their said industry, we, we want to do that because we want to see small business succeed in, in the city and in the state. Another and third product that, that's available for our, uh, for our, our clients uh, is through the Invest NOLA program. Invest NOLA is looking to fund high growth businesses and they're looking to fund those high growth businesses with anywhere from $10,000 up to $250,000 if the business is capital ready and ready to provide, ready to take on that type, uh, those types of lendable funds, so that they can uh, they can grow and make an imprint uh, on their specified sectors and be prepared to both pay back or uh, or uh, accept that kind of debt service in in an effort to to, to grow their businesses in an effort to grow their businesses um, sustainably, but, but quickly. Uh, that, that infusion of cash is in, in the, uh, it's in the form of a term loan usually, but there are also lines of credit that are available. And along with those lines of credit and that help, what comes with it is the technical assistance from Nucorp and its partners to help with any financial or uh, any financial back office or operations needs that may become uh, necessary as the business grows. We don't want to see our customers or clients uh, out on, uh, I guess, an island by themselves. We want to, one, give them the financial capital that's necessary to grow and give them the ability to, uh, to manage that capital properly and expand their operations as, as necessary. Those three programs are the programs that we are currently uh, focused on and pushing, but there, there are other custom, custom and uh, creative programs 
that we have uh, that we have rolled out do and as we looked at customer need. So please don't hesitate to uh, to reach out to us, uh, reach out to me at the New Corp office, and let's have a conversation about your business, about what you're trying to do, and where you are, so that we can do everything we can to help uh, fuel your fuel your growth, your expansion, or your startup. We want to be a resource to small business and our community. And it is our goal, it is our, it is our goal to touch as many small businesses as we can. And if our program may not be the one for you, we are committed to finding and partnering with anyone who may have the program that works for your business. Thank you for putting that up there, Ms. McGee. So you'll see there, you see uh, the website is newcorpinc.com and the phone number is 504 2081700. You can call, you can ask for me. They will certainly reach out to me and give me a message if I'm not in the office, if I'm, if I'm out touching our clients or potential clients so that I can get back in touch and we can discuss your specific needs and hopefully be of assistance to you as you start your new business or try to expand and grow an existing one. Thank you so much. Oh, am I am I still breaking up? No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, Thank you so okay. much uh, for that valuable information. I um, just want to let everyone know that um, Mr. Johnson did provide a uh, a full presentation, which I will send out to all the attendees um, at least by tomorrow. Um, so now we'll go ahead and turn it over to Ms. Williams. Yeah, thank you, Margaret. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you to the Office of Economic Development on the city of New Orleans. I'm Adriana Williams, a Partnerships Manager at Acción Opportunity Fund. And let me share my screen, if I may, um, so I can put up my um, slide deck here. And bear with me for just a second, please. Uh, I think it usually runs slower when I, there we go. Um, Thank you again to Sylvester for providing us information about Newcorp. Um, and like Newcorp, we are a CDFI, a community development financial institution. And our goal as an organization is to provide affordable alternative financing when traditional lending is not available. And in order for us to keep our CDFI designation, which is something that the US Department of Treasury um, provides, we have to keep lending to minority-led businesses as well as businesses located in low to moderate income communities. And we've been around for over 25 years. We did combine with the Acción US Network right before the pandemic hit, um, gosh, over two years ago, it's hard to believe, right? And so now we're able to offer additional services aside from access to capital and I'll touch upon that uh, very quickly on the next slide. Um, so aside from access to capital, we do provide educational resources such as business advising. And we were one of the early proponents of the Small Businesses Borrower Bill of Rights, a mouthful there, which champions uh, transparency in business lending. So we are very active in Sacramento. We were based in California, as well as Washington, D.C. Um, so we really believe in fighting for the rights of small businesses in terms of getting um, transparent uh, terms and cost of the loan. That is super important. Um, so here are just some quick numbers over the course of our history. We've invested over a billion dollars in underserved entrepreneurs and communities. We've created and retained over 50,000 jobs. And it's estimated for our calculation that every dollar that we lend, it generates approximately $1.95 in annual economic activity. And here, another overview of AOF, uh, where we lend. We are a nationwide CDFI. We lend in 45 states. Those are the states in blue, not to get political. Um, also, our borrowers, just a little bit about them. Um, approximately 37% are women, and the majority are BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, or people of color. And here I'd like to shift gears and talk about an excellent program called SOAR, Southern Opportunity and Resilience Fund. 
it's a public private partnership that brought this to life. And on the next slide, I'm going to show you just uh, the footprint of SOAR. Um, so here, as you can see, Louisiana is a SOAR state, which means that businesses based in Louisiana are eligible to apply for a SOAR loan. And it covers all the way from you know, Texas up to Maryland and Delaware. And we are a participating lender in this program. And so some of the highlights for SOAR in terms of loan amounts, we can uh, provide from 5,000 up to 100,000. And the loan amount is based on your monthly gross sales. And we provide up to, we can provide up to three times that amount. So for instance, if your business is grossing around $5,000 a month, you are eligible for a loan of up to 15,000. And in terms of the term, it is up to five years and the interest rate is at 4% fixed. And the payments for the first year is just interest only. And um, the credit score, there is no minimum credit score requirement, which is fantastic, I think. Um, there are three very important eligibility criteria that I'd like to mention. Uh, number one is that the business must have been operating since or before September of 2019. And the business must not have grossed over two and a half million dollars based on your last uh, business taxes. And, but it must at least have generated 20,200. I know these are random numbers, but I didn't come up with it. <laughs> um, and also the business must not have more than 50 full-time employees. Uh, in terms of the documentations needed, we do require a copy of the latest business and personal federal taxes and also copies of the business bank statements from the past three months. And lastly, a copy, a color copy of a government issued ID, like a driver's license, for instance. Um, so again, if you're interested in applying for SOAR, I would highly recommend you to click on that link there. Uh, I know Margaret will be sharing the slide deck, but um, yeah, the, the link is on, um, on this slide, as you can see. And this will be where you land. Um, as you can see, there is a yellow button here that says apply for SOAR, and that would be the first step in um, submitting your pre-application for the SOAR program. And on the next slide here is just to give you an idea of what that pre-application looks like or what we ask for specifically. Um, these are the items, a loan amount, um, some general information like you know, business address, contact information. Um, two key pieces of um, information I would say would be your revenues from last year, as well as your net profit. Um, so those are important items on the pre-application. And once you submit the pre-application, um, if you do pre-qualify, then you will receive an email from um, Acción Opportunity Fund with a link inviting you to submit an official application for SOAR. Um, but again, it's a great program. It's a 4% interest rate, which is pretty affordable. And if you don't uh, qualify for SOAR, we do offer our very own working capital term loan program. Um, two important eligibility criteria would be that number one, we do require at least 12 months of sales or one year in business. And number two, we do require at least 50,000 in minimum annual gross sales. And in terms of the loan amounts, we are able to offer loans from 5,000 up to 100,000 with regular monthly um, payments, both principal and interest. Uh, the term can be up to five years. Interest rates range from 5.99 to 12.99%. And we really take an organic approach in determining the term and interest rates. So that would uh, depend on your business industry, for instance, your cash flow, a time in business, as well as your personal credit. Those are all different uh, factors that we take into consideration. Um, the application process is pretty simple. Um, you, if you are interested, please visit our website, aofund.org. Uh, when you land on our website, you'll see a yellow button on the upper right-hand corner, which says apply for a loan. And so you just click on that, that yellow button and submit a, an application to see if you pre-qualify. And the great thing about our application process is that we only initially do a soft pull on your credit to see if you're eligible for a loan. So we don't do a hard pull um, and therefore it won't affect your credit initially. Um, we, if you do qualify, pre-qualify I should say, you will know instantly and you are given options in terms of you know, the, the term, for instance, uh, 12 months or 36 or five months if you're eligible for that. 
And only then, if you choose to move forward, would we ask for documentation. Um, so in terms of documentation, we ask for, again, a copy of your latest business and personal federal taxes, business bank statements from the past three months, and a color copy of a government-issued ID, like a driver's license. And once we have a full loan package, it takes between seven to 10 business days to get a loan decision and another two or three business days to fund. So the process is pretty quick. Um, and on the next slide, just to give you all an idea of what we ask for on the application, um, I always suggest that folks have a copy of the business taxes in front of them because um, that information is very important. Um, again, the gross annual sales, a lot of people don't remember what that exact number is. So it's just good to have that in front of you, the business taxes when you submit the application when you're filling it out, and also the net income. Those are two very uh, important pieces of information um, that we would verify uh, once we get your uh, loan package. So, and again, yeah, just some general information, um, for instance, uh, business name, business address, and also if you have any other loans outstanding that you'd like AOF to pay off. So those are, that's the type of information that we ask initially. And so shipping gears, I love to talk about our education side of the house. Uh, we provide a lot of wonderful information on our resources library. And we always like to brag and say that we almost had a million hits last year because yeah, we have a lot of wonderful resources and they're all free of charge. Uh, so for instance, we have a lot of online learning courses on our website. Um, also we have webinars and networking events. So definitely visit our website often to learn more. And we also have wonderful corporate partnership programs. Um, the last one we had was our second cohort actually with FedEx, where they came to us and say, hey, you know, we'd love to help businesses pivot from brick and mortar to e-commerce, especially during the pandemic. You know, a lot of folks did that, right? And so we curated and designed a, an online course for small businesses. And um, we, and FedEx also offered a $2,000 grant to help subsidize the cost of doing business online. And so we had a lot of people interested um, in applying and it was just a wonderful program. And we're actually gearing up for our third cohort. Um, so we always have a lot of partnership programs. And also another one coming up is a grant program, which is, um, actually brought yeah, to us by LegalZoom, another partner of ours. Um, and lastly, we do offer free business advising services. You do not have to be an AOF client to take advantage of that. Um, and if you are interested, definitely visit our website. Um, our business advising team uh, would like to have you all fill out a form so that they can reach out to you and schedule a one-on-one -on -one session. And this is just a screenshot of our business resource library. As you can see, you know, we have articles um, that talk about, you know, COVID-19 resources or product placement, also bookkeeping and taxes, budgeting, marketing, a lot of different topics that are touched upon. And yeah, this concludes my presentation. Again, thank you all for being here. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. They can be reached at loans at opportunityfund.org. Our advising team is at advising at opportunityfund.org. And we do, I will include that um, on the chat, the, the phone number to our customer care team. They are available from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So I'm going to stop share so I can um, share that phone number on the chat. But again, thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for that uh, good information that you just provided. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get ready for um, question and answers. Um, I'm looking in the chat box. I don't see... Uh, a whole lot of questions. I think uh, I'll go ahead and open it up to Miss Lisa Kelly. I think she had the first question. Hi, yes. I just had questions about the actual process for someone who's not already signed up with New Corp as far as time frames for review and things like that. If you're already seeking contracts once you get one and you wanted to apply for help with the funding. Okay, Mr. Johnson, yeah, would you? 
I'm sorry. I, I, I jumped in a little too quickly. I saw that in the chat. Yes, Miss Kelly. So if you're not already signed up with Nucor, the application process, underwriting and approval uh, usually takes about two weeks. And then once uh, you have a contract or a project that's already under contract, you can forward us that project. And once you're approved, uh, all your projects can come through. So you don't have to get approval for each project. You get approval once, and when the projects come through, the projects themselves go to, to loan committee, and they can be funded within a week. Okay, great. Thank you. And I put in the chat as well, uh, contact information, I put my email address, please reach out to me directly. Uh, I'm a voice that you'll get to know very well as you, uh, as you begin working with Nucorp. Uh, again, don't hesitate. There is no, no reason to, uh, to feel like you have to be a part of the Nucorp team already. To, to have a business development conversation. I am there to, to support that. And secondly, I wanna make sure that everyone knows because I saw in the chat that uh, if there are specific industries that Nucorp works with. Well, the Bill Nola Mobilization Fund is specific to uh, contracting and contractors, but our other programs are not industry specific at all. So we would love to see uh, people with new technology uh, ideas in businesses, new uh, food sourced ideas in business, new um, uh, retail uh, ideas in business. We want everyone to come through and have that conversation because we believe being based here in, in New Orleans that everybody's idea is not always um, I, I guess he's not always given the same chance with the traditional lending source. And, and just like Axion, we want to make sure that everybody has the resources available to them uh, so that their business idea can get off the ground and hopefully become uh, competitive in, in whichever industry uh, you choose. Yeah, that's a good point. And I just wanted to add that um, I believe with most CDFIs, um, Axion Opportunity Fund, the only industries that we do not lend to are the vices. So for instance, liquor stores, bars that yeah, strictly just serve alcohol uh, and no food, um, as well as smoke shops or marijuana dispensaries. Those are industries that we, unfortunately we do not serve. So I just wanted to add that in. Good catch, Ms. Williams. That is, uh, that is absolutely true. Uh, the vice industries, um, uh, we do not serve those either as a CDFI. Uh, we, uh, we do stick with, stay away from those. So thanks for us. Uh, thanks for catching that, Ms. Williams. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Any other questions, guys? I'm sure there, there are some. Please don't be shy. Um, yeah, Miss Miss Betty have a question. Yes, I apologize. Um apparently I have a bad uh, computer connection. Um so I couldn't hear everything. I want to know which the book the company is working part of. Yeah, you you cutting off really bad. I think her question was which companies do new business funding? So uh, this is Mr. Johnson with, with Nucorp. We do do some new business funding. The capital that's available may not be as, uh, maybe may it may be capped off, but uh, we can put together a custom uh, program for you. If you are a new or startup business, uh, please check the chat. Uh, my, my email address is there. Uh, send, it, uh, send me a, a request. We can sit down and talk about where you are and, and figure out if you're capital ready. And if you're not, we'll figure out how to get you there. Great. Thank you so much. 
Ms. Williams, did you want to chime in on that question? Right. I was going to say that, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we do require at least one year in business. So we don't provide startup financing, but I'm really happy to hear that New Corp does. Okay. Um, next question is, is, is your company is, if your company is a Louisiana based, can the funding be approved for work globally? So are we talking about construction work globally? Are we talking about uh, just normal business? Uh, can okay. I get a, a little? Yeah, Mr. Michael, can you come on and kind of give us a little more detail? Yes, hi. Um, specifically, uh, it is work in the construction industry. Uh, it's not uh, hard construction bricks and mortar, but it's doing construction uh, related uh, work as in uh, inspections uh, or monitoring of uh, construction work, that kind of uh, sort of technical services support, but, but that kind of work it, that's uh, both in Louisiana, but operations outside of Louisiana. Okay, as a Louisiana-based company, you certainly are, uh, are, are one of our target clients. So you certainly can come in, again, customize a program depending on exactly what services you're providing and where you're providing them. We can find, a, we can certainly find a space for you. Uh, and if we don't have that space again, uh, we're all about partnerships because it's, it's about your growth and your success. So please, again, uh, reach out. Let's have that conversation about exactly what you're doing and where you're doing it and, and find a space uh, to get your capital that you need and, and that's available to you uh, for your particular industry or your particular service. Thank you. And, and a follow-up question. Did I hear one of the presenters say that your maximum gross revenue uh, cannot be any more than $2 million for the year? Yeah, that was me. I'm Adriana Williams. That's uh, two and a half million. That's for the SOAR program. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Um, right. I'm glad you were listening. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So the next question we have is Ms. Nicole. Um, I think you answered that, uh, Adriana, in the chat box. She asked, how can we learn yeah. more about the grant programs Ms. Williams mentioned? Yes, yeah, I provided the link uh, to our programs page where we would uh, list our grant offerings mm -hmm, through our partners. Yeah. Okay, next question. What are the capital requirements for Nucor? So the capital requirements depend on the program. Uh, again, if you are a startup, if, it's, uh, if there is some equity that has been put in, uh, with the capital requirements are, are not specific. So they're, they're customized as we see uh, the need coming through. So uh, there are no capital requirements for, uh, th that, are, that are strict or, uh, or, or set. Uh, it really depends on the loan or the amount of capital that you're looking for and where the business is. So it's a, it's a, it's a conversation that we have in order to try to customize for clients. Uh, please, again, um, don't hesitate. Uh, even, even if the business is, uh, is a, new, uh, a new startup, don't hesitate to reach out because there, there are programs that are available and we will try to fit you in uh, into one of those programs so that you can, uh, you can find success uh, in, in your time and your way. So please, please reach out. Thank you. And I think we have another one for you, Mr. Johnson. It asks, um, on the contract funding, is there a percentage charge for the service? And does it vary? And what determines the rate? It does not vary. Yes, there is a percentage charge. The percentage charge is 8% per annum. So uh, most contracts are net 60 or 
net 30 at times, every 30 days, it's two thirds of a per percentage point. So it doesn't vary. It, it is it is strict and standard set up with the program as the program was set up with the city. So it is a um, it is a standard uh, percentage, eight percent again per annum, two thirds of a percentage point per thirty days, and it is not compounding. It is a simple interest rate. So the you do not uh, you're not being charged interest on interest. You're only being charged interest on the amount of money that is lent. Okay, so do we have any more questions? Now is the time to ask. We have the, um, the members here to answer all your questions. What about multiple businesses? Uh, multiple businesses are fine. Uh, as long as they are separated legally and uh, the and the income and, and financials are, are shown uh, separately, we can uh, we can work with that. Um, obviously, we are we're going to look at each business separately and its capacity to find out where we need to fit you. But multiple multiple businesses do work in uh, in our in our office. Likewise, for us, an opportunity fund, mm -hmm. just to echo the rest of it. I also, I also want to uh, let everyone know, even if you don't have a question, please uh, send me an email just introducing yourself because we are, especially this summer as the city opens up and, and everything kind of, uh, kind of relaxes, uh, we are going to be doing a couple mixers for uh, for clients and potential clients so they can meet each other so they can understand the programs and we can answer questions in person uh we're looking forward to that coming back so that we actually can meet with uh with our business owners and in our community and hopefully engage and, and answer questions uh in person that you may not uh you may not remember now or you may not have now but once once we get together and, and have that conversation that may they may pop up so please Reach out to me. I'll put uh, I'll put your email address into our database, and you'll get all the notifications for any mixers or, or anything that's going on with with the new new core clients or with the with any programs that we are trying to roll out. So so please do not hesitate. Like I said, reach out to me because I will. Uh, I'm looking forward to engaging with everyone as we uh, as we move forward. Um, I have a, another question. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, we're listening. Okay. We can hear you. Okay. Um, I want to know, this is uh, Mr. Johnson. Do you guys do anything with you? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you're cutting up really bad. We can't understand. Okay. I question in the chat box. Okay. I know Ms. Betty asked something about you. Uh, Ms. Betty, I think because these are... Uh, funding financial institutions. I'm not sure if they have any programs geared directly toward the youth. Um, I'll let them answer. Uh, Mr. Johnson? Actually, we're doing something this summer as we, we have a, an initiative in the seventh ward that is working with youth and, uh, and agripreneurs really uh, folks that are trying to teach and learn how to grow uh, their own fruits and vegetables sustainably, uh, make sure that, uh, that we, we try to bring back uh, the home garden. So uh, you can reach out, me, reach out to me on that if that's something that may interest you. And I have one of my colleagues who is uh, Ms. Pamela Broom, who is working on that in, in, in the seventh ward. It may be of some interest to you. So please, Reach out, we'll have that conversation as well. Thank you so much for that. So are there any other questions? Yes, I'm concerned also about the youth. I uh, own a chain of karate schools. We had like 37 locations throughout the metropolitan New Orleans area. And uh, I'd like to find out what division that you guys have that focus on the youth from that perspective. 
So, yeah, I mean, I, I, oh, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go. Oh, that's OK. Thanks, Sylvester. Yeah. So from the youth economic development um, standpoint, I mean, we do have a separate it won't be applicable in this, um, I guess, in this instance. But uh, what I was going to say is that we do invest in certain facilities that promote, obviously, uh, community engagement, including youth. It's, that, it's through the, our new market tax credit program. However, if you own a karate, a business providing karate lessons, right, um, you know, it would be treated as a business loan. Um, not necessarily, you know, we don't have a program, I guess, suppose, specifically focused on youth development, but it would be treated as a business loan. Um, if that makes any sense. Uh, yes, uh, agreed. If it's uh, if it's a business loan for uh, for a youth centered business where uh, karate lessons are such, um, we we would treat that as a business loan as well. But um, we are are planning opportunities again. Uh, COVID uh, kind of shut us down a little bit, but we're planning opportunities for youth to learn about uh, economic development and economic investment where. Uh, we we're having classes to talk about financial and fiscal responsibility. I, I don't know if that's something that you may be interested in and, and may be interested in partnering with as the summer comes along and, and some of our youth uh, get out of school. We are looking to do some some classes for them so that they can be they can stay engaged and learn about business um, and, and fiscal responsibility. Some things that may be missed in their their classroom learning. So we're, we're looking forward to uh, supporting and educating the next batch of entrepreneurs. So that may that, that may be something that you're interested in. If it is financial or uh, business development capital, uh, those would be looked at as uh, as some of our, our different loan programs or are, are loanable. Uh, loanable businesses, so we would have to look at those just like we look at any other business to uh, to do our best to to, to fit you in uh, if if the funds are always necessary. But tech, technical assistance in education is something that we're we're really trying to focus on. So this this summertime, we are, we are going to be reaching out and trying to put on programs for our youth to to gain that that knowledge at a at, at a younger age than 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 we have been able to do traditionally. Uh, I closed down all my locations uh, because of the COVID situation. Uh, so therefore, uh, is very, very complex what we're talking about here in terms of how to get back into the rim. Because 70% of the kids in my program was really coming for free. And I used the uh, profit money to be able to sustain those kids because they're from... Uh, areas like desire and other areas that uh, their parents can't really afford martial arts. But martial arts has been a sustain of allowing our kids to be able to get good education, smart, 70% of kids make straight A's. So I'm trying to figure out how do we uh, partner together some kind of way to, to, to uh, get the kids more involved. Uh, uh, you guys say that you have a uh, a, prob uh, a, a program coming this way, you're saying, that elevates and work on kids? So yes, I'm saying that this summer, we are gonna have a, a program to try to engage those kids. Um, again, uh, I, don't, I guess, I don't know, and maybe this isn't the form, maybe we need to talk offline. I, I do wanna know if it's, if it's, if you're looking to open those studios back up, if you're looking to do something separately uh, in the studios or simply get the kids involved, let's uh, let, let's talk about that and see if there's a way that we can partner to do uh, to do something to uh, to keep those kids engaged. Because I, I understand having to to shut it down because of COVID, and, and and let's talk about what you have as an idea and what's next. Again, I'm uh, I'm available. My my information is there in the chat. Reach out by email and let's let's set something up. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you for that. Is, are there any more questions? Can, can I, it's not so much a question, huh, I'm Oliver Celestine. I wanted to share some information for the gentleman that was speaking. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually still available, but just recently I received some information from NORD that was mm -hmm. open to programming opportunities. Uh, 
for anybody that had any ideas regarding, uh, you know, youth programs. So I, I think that may be an avenue that, that he could possibly partner with or look into. I'm not sure if he has or hasn't. I just wanted to share. Yeah, that. we we've been partnering for Nard for years. Yeah, all right. But uh, I closed down those locations too. I miss Betty Washington. Um, uh, Sarah is online. She knows. Uh, I just refused to, um, to 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 provide services, and I wasn't a hundred percent. Uh, sure that it would be safe for the children. So I shut down all my operations. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, are there any more questions? Hello. Yes. Hi, uh, my name, I'm sorry that I came in on the call uh, late, but um, I have a, a beverage company uh, that I would like to possibly seek funding for to um, purchase inventory. Uh, can I get the email on the person that I need to um, contact so okay, that I can explain what my situation is? Right. It, it, in the chat box, uh, both speakers have uh, put their information in the chat box. Okay, and I'm actually doing this. I'm actually doing this on my phone, so I'm not able to access that. Okay, I tell you what, um, if possible, email me mogee at nola.gov and I'll make sure you get that information. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I have your email address. Thank you. Okay, are there any more questions? Okay, if there's no more questions, I want to thank everyone for joining us today, especially our guest speakers for their awesome presentations. Within five to 10 business days, this session will be available on the Office of Economic Development YouTube channel, along with previous uh, recorded sessions. Um, our next session will be Tuesday, April 26th. And our speakers are representatives from Hope Credit Union Enterprise Corporation and True Fund Financial Services, Inc. I do have the flyer up. I'm sharing my screen now. Um, if you guys are interested, make sure you uh, register for those sessions. Remember to check your emails for reminders. And I hope to see everyone or have everyone join us on next Tuesday. My name is Margaret McGee. My number is 504-658-4237. Uh, and my email again is mogee at nola.gov. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. And I wish everyone a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. Thank Take you. Care. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you, everyone.